education that is in my um and and what i know is um assuming that many of you on this have a loved one with special needs or know someone that does um you know you could probably give me your own list of 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 your loved one and and their kind of what keeps them at peace and happy and whatnot so it was kind of at this point that um that Deb and I decided we really needed to document Danny's life. I went online, I looked what was out there, and what I saw was a bunch of static documents, attorneys call them special needs letters of intent. Um, they're uh, all a little bit different. Um, most of them aren't customizable. Um, and so we just decided to do it in a Word document. We went ahead and did that, likes, dislikes, behaviors, medications, we wrote it all down. And the whole time I was doing it, I was thinking, this isn't very intuitive. It's not formatted. I feel like this isn't going to work well because I'm going to probably tuck it away and uh, it's going to be hard to update, um, can't share it securely. Um, all kinds of things were going through my head. Nonetheless, we did complete it. A couple of years later, I went and I uh, looked for the document um, and had a hard time remembering what I named it. And um, I did find it. And what I realized is about 75% of what we had put in there was obsolete. And that's because Danny keeps changing. Behaviors, likes, dislikes, medications, so much of it was different. And it was at that moment I said, this is never gonna work. This for, for unless I'm completely a, a crazy organized individual and constantly updating it, every few years, I'm going to be redoing this plan. Um, and it's going to be stressful and it's just not practical. And that was really, you know, the inspiration around the Danny plan was for Danny, but it also became kind of a, a tool for our community to really help us. I, one of the things I know is that in our community, a common fear is us passing before our loved ones do, because who's ever going to uh, be able to care for them the way that we do. And so, um, you know, uh, yeah, whoever, who's going to really care for them the way that we do. And so that was kind of the inspiration was, was, was creating a plan that would give us peace of mind into the future, knowing that when we're gone, there'll be a very detailed plan out there and they'll know exactly what to do. And, and we also were saying that if we don't have this, um, Danny will be in complete chaos and at the same time, the caregivers are going to be in complete chaos trying to figure out all of the things that we figured out for the last 24 years. Um, and so we created this tool, the Danny Plan, which is a centralized hub to help consolidate and organize all of the information needed to properly care for your loved one with special needs. And what started out as an insurance policy of when we're gone has become really a powerful daily tool that you can share with rotating caregivers, therapists, teachers, maybe even doctors and whatnot. So um, I'm going to give you a quick demo, but before I do that, uh, I am going to, I want you to ponder a few quick questions and you can just do those in your head real quick. So the first question to ask yourself is if anything happens to you, do you have a detailed plan to make sure whomever is taking over the care of your loved one knows exactly how to care for them? The second is, does your loved one rotate through new caregivers, therapists, doctors, teachers, and more? And the third one is, is the information and paperwork about your loved ones organized, easy to find, easy to share, uh, and easy to update? Okay. So now I'm going to unshare this and I'm going to give you a pretty quick demo. Um, Diane mentioned, by the way, feel free to put questions into the um, chat. I will definitely get to them after. I think I'm gonna probably answer a lot of the things you're wondering through the presentation. So it's not a very long presentation, probably about 10 minutes. Uh, or so. And by the time I'm done, there'll be plenty of time for questions and whatnot. And um, and we can dig in. But again, I think I'm going to answer quite a few of your questions um, in that amount of time. So, okay. Um, 
if you were to join the Danny plan, this is what uh, your loved one's dashboard would look like. This is Danny's actual dashboard. And one of the things that was extraordinarily important to Debbie and myself was that we built a product that really represented life, not a business or medical or legal like document, but something that represented life because our loved ones are living individuals that will always generally always need some level of support. And so down to the colors, uh, the bright colors, the logo of the butterfly which represents life, a picture of Danny um, doing one of her favorite things, which is being on a boat. And this little intro statement here, I am Danny, I am sweet and silly, my life is full of love, I'm nonverbal, but I have a lot to say. I've discovered a fullness of life through the love of family and friends come into my world and experience life through my eyes. So, you know, down to that intro statement, I wanted to make sure that everything was intuitive and easy. So somebody might be like, oh man, what would I say? I have to write this out. But what we did was we created almost like a Mad Lib where it would start with I am and your loved one's name, Danny. And then there's drop down. So you can kind of quickly pick what represents your loved one to eat the best. And if there isn't the right word there, you can pick your own word real quick. Um, and we have some that are words and some that are phrases. And again, you can also pick your own. So within a few minutes, you should be able to create an intro statement or an essence statement of who your loved one is. Okay, over here, you'll see many main categories about me, safety, key people, medical and therapy, all the way down to education, and what you'll see is an add a category. So again, one of the things that I think is missing out there is ease of customiz customiz customization and personalization. This is a product that you want it to be your loved one's plan. So many parents ask me all the time, hey, is there a category for this or a category for that? And the reason is, is because there's so many unique things about our loved ones. I, and I would never be able to come up with all of them. And it would be overwhelming for everybody to have every single thing that everybody thought of. So the beauty of add a category, and you can make you can use as many add a categories as you want, is to come up with the categories you want and what works for you and your loved one. Now, underneath each of these main categories are a bunch of subcategories. We have most important things to know about me, likes, dislikes, and strength. Under key people, I have family, caregivers, pests, and friends. Under medical and therapy, I have medication, doctors, diagnosis, therapy, insurance, medical equipment, assistive technology. So I think you get the point. All of these have various amount of subcategories underneath them. And again, back to personalization. I had a mom say to me the other day, I would love to add my daughter's goals. And I said, great, let's do it. So we go in here. I type in goals. I'm going to mark these as no for the moment. I'm going to save it. And within seconds, you can see there is a category called goals. These greens are basically categories that my wife added, her own categories. If I go into add an entry now, you'll see goals. In this section, please describe everything we need to know about Danny's goals. Many of the, um, of the, uh, of the, the formats, are laid out this way, okay, with a title, the ability to kind of display information the way you would like to display it and the way you want others to see it. So remember that this tool is really powerful in that it's not for just us when we pass. It's the ability for us to share with guardians, but also with daily caregivers, right? The rotation of caregivers that we're constantly go through, therapists, teachers, maybe employers, those type of things. So um, bullet list I use quite often. I'm a simple guy. Um, narrative, you can tell a story or explain something. And then the numbered list, which is great for prioritization. And it's also amazing for routines, steps. So imagine this. This is a web-based application that is extremely mobile friendly. Everything you can do on the web, you can do just as easily on your phone. So when you share this, a new caregiver, it could be the first day that they're working with Danny and they can have step-by-step -step understand what to do in a routine. And I'm gonna show you some of that in a minute. 
I'm going to spend the first few minutes kind of just showing you a few of the inputs, and then I'm going to give you some of the outputs and show you what it looks like once filled out. Okay, so in every section, you have a box that says additional info, so you can add additional info. There's the ability to put links. I had so many family members asking, could we put add music playlist? My my son's favorite, uh, you know, website, a video. So I can actually show how something is done from a training standpoint. So we just added the ability to put links. You can put all of those links in there to create videos. You can do it in a Google Drive or you can go to YouTube, create a video, uh, make it private, grab that link and put it here. And you can use that as a training tool. And I'll give you an example of that. Not only are you going to put all your information in here, but all the documentation not in a, you know, now it's no longer kind of what folder or binder did I put that in? What did I name it online? Or a phone call that says, hey, um, can I get a copy of that? Everything in the Danny plan in one place, um, really quickly being able to find, you can download all your documents here. And then photos are obviously really useful as well. And I'll show you a few examples of that. Couple more inputs just to show you kind of the intuitiveness. If I'm adding a family member, there's drop down, name, phone number, checkbox for emergency contact. Here's contact info. And then with family members, we usually use a pick. And then in medical, we have medication. Here's a quick example medication name, uh, use, days, dosage, and time. So the things that caregivers need, but also if for some reason we pass, they're going to need to know the prescribing doctor, the pharmacy name. So we have quite a bit detailed there. The other thing we added is the ability to do notifications. So if you, Danny takes seven different um, medications three times a day, we've set up notifications for us to receive those um, uh, reminders of those every day at a specific time. You can either do an email reminder or you could do more practically a text reminder. But not only for you, the beauty of, again, new caregiver comes in, they're going to have to administer uh, medication. You can pick the specific days they work. You can add their phone number on those days just by separating it by a comma. You pick the time that they're supposed to get that particular medication, and they will get a text reminder uh, to take that medication at that specific time. You can add Reminders and notifications anywhere throughout the site. It could be medication, obviously, but it could be time to brush teeth, time to leave for work, whatever it happens to be. I put one in there that says a reminder to get Danny off her bus because I'm often on Zoom at 2.45 and I'll get a phone call from the bus driver. So I put one on there for 2.43 to come in as an example. And some people have really appreciated this <coughs> from a standpoint of independence if um, your loved one has the capability of having their own um, phones and they can read, um, they can get their own um, reminders from an independent standpoint as well. Okay, now let me give you a couple quick outputs and show you what a few things look like. Here's a quick example of Danny's likes, okay? Um, these Each one of these separations is just a separate entry. Here's what key people looks like. This is my lovely wife, Debbie, and myself, my son, Charlie, grandparents, and my middle daughter, Alex, right there. Um, okay, routines. I talked to you a little bit about the power of training with the Danny plan, new caregivers constantly going in. This is what it'll look like on, um, on a phone. Anything you can do on the computer, you can do just as easily on the phone. Add an entry, look things up. So imagine you're sharing this with a caregiver that works quite often. They have this now on their phone. First day they are working with Danny and they need to understand her morning routine, how to deal with something. So here it is, step by step, without you explaining everything in detail, they could understand they need to open her door at 8.30, say good morning, Danny, she'll stir. Number two, number three, number four, you get the point. A little additional info. But we have a toileting routine, a dressing routine, a shower routine, a menses routine, brushing teeth routine. 
And then I talked to you a little bit about the power of video and using that from a training standpoint. I'm going to give you a quick snippet of that real quick here. One second. Okay. Okay. So imagine this using video to do it. This is a very simple thought, but this is preparing Danny's bed for sleep. I had talked to you. This is true. Danny's very particular about her sleep. If we don't kind of have it really perfectly, she will not sleep well. So this is actually really important. I'm just going to give you a quick snippet of the video. So Danny's bed always has a bunch of pillows on it, which is obviously not easy for her to go to sleep with. So I take off all the pillows and I put them in a stack over here on the floor and I just pile them up really high and I leave her just the main pillows. Okay, so you get the point there. Really powerful being able to use these links. Um, couple, one other thing I'll show you on the links that I think is pretty cool. He, all of these greens I had talked to you about personalization are things that my wife added, surgical history. Um, Patient portal login, right? So again, everything in one spot. You got documents. Um, we need to go to the patient portal quite often. Here's obviously a blocked out username and password, but here's our local hospital, Beaumont. If I click on here, this is her actual Beaumont chart right here. Okay. Um, all right. So I talked to you a little bit about documents. If Okay, so you're going to obviously put documents in different areas, under finance, under legal, maybe under housing, wherever it makes sense for you, you're going to put documentation. There's under education, there's an example of Danny's IEP, which is, is, is here. Now, if you got here, you may think, okay, where did I put that particular document? So what we did was on the left here, we put you can go right to links, documents, and photos. Not only can you add them here if you choose to, you can also find them here, which is really key. So if you're looking for a document, for instance, here's an example of Danny's IEP. First of all, everything is really labeled in a way that everything is super easy to find. Again, you're just gonna go to the Danny Plan site, so you're not like, where am I finding this? You go right to this link, you got a main category, a subcategory. We recommend doing really clear descriptions so you find everything within seconds. Here's a quick example of what a download looks like. This is Danny's IEP. And then let's say you, Danny, is transitioning into a new school, uh, a new teacher, a therapist would like to see your IEP. You can go right here from your computer or phone and you can email over that IEP right over to that individual. You can do it to multiple individuals, all you have to do is separate it by a comma. So really powerful from that standpoint. Again, Debbie and I have said that if we would have had this when Danny was young, when we went for guardianship and social security, it would have saved us so much time, so much energy, and quite frankly, a lot of stress, knowing exactly where everything is. And there are more of those pivotal points that come through our lives um, of the government organizations that want to see certain things and want us to kind of reapply and whatnot. So just having this really will help you, um, you know, from a time standpoint uh, and so on and so forth and stress. Okay, so now we have the ability to share the plan. So I really think that this is the power of the plan, right? Is the, to be able to share with other stakeholders, whether it be a guardian, caretakers, teachers, therapists. And there's a few different ways to share the plan. So you're not gonna want everybody, you're not gonna wanna invite everybody to join the plan with their own username and password because you want that to be for people that are really in your loved one's life on a consistent basis. But there's many people you're going to want to give information to that might be there as a temporary time that they're working with Danny or caring for uh, your loved one or, you know, staying with them or whatever it happens to be. So you can either email or print a PDF to them. And again, that would be for them short term. It also could just be for someone who's not tech savvy. And they're just like, can you please just give me a printed copy? And when it's changed, 
when you make a tweak to it, will you just print out a new uh, copy for me? Or you can just email the PDF and they can scroll down on their phone. So that's one way of doing it. The third way is to actually share the plan. You're going to do this for guardians, for caregivers that are with your loved one on a consistent basis, right, daily. So we have a, a one uh, a woman named Nell. She's amazing and she's like family and she works with Danny five days a week. And she knows Danny, by the way, as much as we do or better sometimes from a, a behavior standpoint. So here's how you share Um for my sister, who's the guardian, I'm going to put her information in here. Um, I'm going to give her the ability when it says access to not only view it, but I want her to be able to change things if she'd like to. Then I'm going to give her permissions. Really important from a security standpoint is to be able to give um, permissions. Um, and you can get, you can do all the main categories. You can check all the main categories, but you can also check just a subcategory if you would like. So under medical and therapy, if you don't want to give everything, but you'd like them to have a copy of the insurance, you could just give them that. So again, you have the ability to share exactly what you want with the individual that you're sharing with. For my sister, I'm going to give her everything because she's the guardian. I want her to have finances. I want her to have legal. For a caregiver, um, like now, I'm not going to give her finances or legal or housing but I'm going to give her many of the other things that are pertinent for her to, uh, to see. Um, and then for uh, some other caregivers that maybe work with Danny, but not as often, and we don't have that level of trust with them possibly, I'm going to just have them view it. A lot of people are just going to be in the view only. You don't want them added, adding or editing or deleting. And again, you're going to only give them the information they, they need, basically. Okay, so now you the last thing is the ability to, <coughs> to print. And um, the you can do the same thing with printing as you can with sharing. You can print a profile, create that profile. Again, give them any of the information you want so they're not sifting through big binders anymore. They're only getting the information that they need, right? An example of that is right here. So my wife built a, uh, a, a document called Medications and Insurance, a profile called Medications and Insurance. She prints this before every doctor's appointment because it's obviously the first thing they always ask. I'm going to give you a quick glimpse of what the full printed plan looks like. Tried to do this in a way that would be really easy for people to kind of walk through and find the information they need. Again, you're only gonna give them the information they need, but this would be for a guardian, um, the full plan. Key information up at the top, all the main categories are in blue, all the subcategories are in bold, and each new main category starts at the top of a new page. You can see here how Debbie used the use of pictures. Um, this is kind of mocked up for webinars just so we're not giving out personal information This animated. This is generally actually the bottle of medication. So they can see the script here and just kind of make sure that everything is correct and whatnot. So gives you a pretty good idea of how we built this plan. <clears throat> okay. Um. I want you to understand a couple other things and then we'll kind of dive into questions. First of all, most of the enhancements and on the roadmap are come from organizations or family members like you who just said, hey, it'd be great to have. The links are that. Um, the ability to manage tiles. People said, hey, my son's done with, uh, with school. Can I just get rid of the education? You sure can. You can just go to manage tiles. You can hit education, and I can move it over here to hidden tiles, right? I have that for Danny for employment because she doesn't work and probably won't. You can also move these, um, you can also move these tiles around so I can drag food and diet up if I would like it dragged up. So you can put them wherever you want the order that you want them. And again, these are, these are ideas that we got from other people. 
few enhancements we're working on is a daily journal. So a caregiver can actually say, hey, um, this is what happened today. Danny ate well, she went to the bathroom, she took her medication, she's been super happy today. So it's just a nice back and forth from the caregiver to be able to get notifications that you can use daily or you could use, hey, when you're on vacation possibly, and you just would like to get an, a good update. Or it could be from the teacher as well to get an easy way to get an update or an employee. Um, we are working on a shared calendar. Again, ideas people wanted to know and said, hey, we have different people that take care of and do different things for our loved one throughout the week. It'd be great if everybody knew what they were doing. And so we're working on a shared calendar right now as well. Okay, I'm going to uh, jump in here and look at some of the questions we've gotten, if there are any. So I want to open it up. Doesn't look like there's a lot of questions, but uh, um, please, if you have any, love to get any questions you have, um, any feedback um, on the plan, um, any concerns, uh, love to answer anything that you may have at all. Joel, there was one question here, and I'm not sure if you answered it. It said, will the categories you create add, will they appear in the far left-hand list? Yes, they will. And they'll also appear in the ability to share. So once you create a category, that will actually drop down to the ability to share. Yeah. Yes, there is a, I think I might have been in the wrong section. Uh, is there a way to put two special needs kids on the Danny plan? Absolutely. So let me talk about price for a second. The subscription for this is $99 per year um, for your first uh, loved one. If you add a second or a third, they are half price, $49.50 each. Um, if you do want one, uh, please just let me know and I will go ahead and administer a second plan for you. So please let me know. What other questions do you have? Talk to you a little bit about um, while you're thinking, if you do have any questions, I'd also love to get your feedback. You know, is this something that you think no, no, there's nothing wrong, you know, just, just so I understand, is this something that makes sense? Is it, uh, does it seem like a good tool? Any concerns? So anything there would be great too. I'll tell you from a security standpoint, because security is our, um, there's a lot of personal information in this. It is absolutely our number one priority. We, um, the site is hosted in Amazon cloud with the highest level of security. It is completely encrypted. Encryption basically means that if somebody were to try to hack in, they would see gibberish. The other thing is, that there would be, there's two-step authentication. So just like you have at your bank, when you have to put a code in, you are required to do two-step authentication. So um, we are consistently enhancing all security because it is very important. So uh, looks like there's a couple of questions here. All right, will the categories you create add, will they appear in the far left? Yes, they will. I think I may have answered that, but yes, they'll absolutely um, should, uh, will come in the left-hand side. Is there a way, but okay. So it looks both of the, oh, maybe I haven't, I'm not on the open. Okay. Have your clients also used Danny Plan for senior care? A hundred percent. Senior care, aging, by the way, senior care, aging, just aging parents before the decline, getting in prescriptions, doctors, um, finances. So there's so many nightmare stories about out there of, you know, getting to the point where um, people don't know where things are or what to do, but also just managing their day to day, especially some of the, the shared calendar came from that uh, brother and sister are taking care of mom and dad who's doing what those type of things are going to be coming out. So um, absolutely aging is, is huge for sure. Thank you, Kelly. I appreciate that. That keeps us going. We get a lot of, we've been getting a lot of ever since we've done this really enthusiastic um, feedback on it. And it just keeps us going every day. A lot of gratitude 
uh, from people about about building this, and it's uh, it really feels good. It also feels good just that I know that I'm usually talk I'm talking to people that understand my wife and I in a way that others can't, and um, it's a nice connection to have as well. And and uh, and honestly, I just want to I want to keep enhancing this to make to do something to make our lives just a little bit easier, and also from a peace of mind standpoint, create a lot more peace of mind about the future for when we're gone, because I know that's a really big fear. Anything else I can answer for you? Thank you, Joel. Are there any other questions? Before I end, Diane, I want I do want to pull up uh, really quick the couple of things. Okay, so... Um, let me just put this big here. So first of all, our mission, and when I say our, my wife, and the reason we started this obviously was for Danny, but our mission really has become to encourage everyone to have a plan. Um, we really owe it to our loved ones, giving them the respect and dignity they deserve to have a complete plan so people know how to keep them at peace we also encourage you for the caregivers so they're not in chaos. And we also encourage it for yourself to give you some peace of mind and just help us get a little bit more productive and feel like things are organized. I do not, what I'm not saying it has to be the Danny plan. I'm just saying do yourself a favor and your loved one and the caregivers a favor and have a plan. If I'm biased to the Danny plan because I do believe it'll help you stay updated. So you're not redoing it every couple of years because you're going to consistently get reminders. You'll be able to on the fly, make really simple changes, deleting, adding a little new thing so that once you do it three years from now, five years, 10 years, 20 years, it will be up to date and you'll never have to do it, kind of go through that, that big lift again. So that's my kind of bias on the Danny plan, but again, please do it. If the Danny plan is for you, um, I also encourage people to sign up right away because the hardest part is getting started. And um, so the I do this, I put this code together, which is ARCNV30 for 30% 30 off your first year, and it's good for 24 hours. I do that to be pushy to say sign up and get going because otherwise this is human nature. It'll go to the bottom of our to-do lists and we won't get to it for months. And by the time you know it, you'll still won't have a plan. So I really recommend if you do do it. I do have a second one here that's ARC NV10 for it's good for seven days as well. But if you think you're gonna do it, you might as well just get going is my thought. If you're on the fence, but you want to try it, there is a 21 day free trial. So you could go on, put the 30% code in, try it out. If it's not for you, you can cancel within those 21 days. And so um, take advantage if you want to do it. Um, you can check out my site. If you're going to sign up, you can go to dannyplan.com and just go to the top right corner, I'll say sign up. There's also a part that says get started for free. Both of them will take you there and walk you through the process. She'll put this code in. And if you have any further questions, write down my um, email at joelp at dannyplan.com. I'm happy to meet with you individually. I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. And the last thing I want you to say is if you're going to sign up and you're not like a quick start, which means your type of person that might let it sit for a little while, you'll get a welcome letter after you sign up and it'll have a link for an onboarding free. I recommend it. It's with my amazing wife, Debbie. She's awesome. And she will help you get started, give you some trips and tricks and tips, and also just help you kind of get a plan that won't be overwhelming. It'll work for you to just kind of get the plan done. So I highly recommend signing for that, signing up for that too. If you're not someone who just wants to dive in, I have people sign up and they have 50 entries within a couple of days. And we have people that are at zero with for a couple of months. So if you're that person, I recommend signing up for um, the, uh, uh, the onboarding. Okay, I'm gonna leave it at that unless there's any other questions that you saw, Diane. 
No, just one comment um, from someone who has several plants on their computer and can't wait to pull it all together in this tool. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. That keeps me going every day. Really, really grateful. Diane, thank you so much for having me. And thank you, everybody, for letting me do this for you. And please reach out if you have any questions um, or concerns that I can answer for you. Thank you so much, Joel. And Joel's going to come back with us again in November. Well, he's going to do another presentation for us. So, all right. Well, thank you all. Please reach out again if you have any questions. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Thanks.